I don't know if y'all are like me, but I'm always trying to up my Instagram game and food, rainbow food in particular, is like the way to do it. So Claire's gonna teach us how to style a shot. That sounds great. Um, the big thing for me when styling a shot for Instagram, it really comes down to color, texture, and then composition as well. And honestly, if you don't wanna have to think about it, an overhead shot, especially with something with shape, color, and texture, kind of always works. Oh, yeah. I'm always like down here trying to do this and that. Just don't, well, just go. It depends. Um, I feel like when you're doing it from a side angle, then you have to care about things like the background. Yeah. Um, what else is happening in the frame. It just adds a lot more kind of uh, problem possibly to having a really great shot. So going for an overhead shot, it just means it kind of limits the scope of what can interfere with a really beautiful shot. Yeah, genius. Okay. Yeah. So let's grab the cake plate. I love this because this adds a little bit of elevation. So I think this is gonna be great. So let's do a nice little pile on top of here. So. This is the thing, we want it to be messy, beautiful. If it looks too perfect, it doesn't look like you can eat it and people kind of don't really engage with that. So we want to save the hero croissants to go right on top and kind of in positions that really matter. So then the ones that kind of are a little wonky looking, those ones go underneath. So, so if mine gets chosen as a hero, I'm the biggest oh, winner. Yours are definitely <laughs> getting chosen. Mine are super wonky compared to yours. Like this one's like a super wonky one. But this one, for instance, this is a nice hero. It looks like a croissant, like the tip's pretty straight. Like, it looks good. So then this one can kind of go on top. And this then, is probably my favorite. Perfect, but... so let's definitely save this one. Okay. And then here, give me, let's take this wonky one. This one. So this can be our sacrificial croissant. Okay. So this is one that we'll tear into. You can see, ooh, color. Ooh, gorge, gorge, gorge. Nice. So this is the one that we'll tear into and have like little kind of, like a moment where it's like, oh look, you can kind of see inside of it. and then. You know, we can break this up and create some crumbs. It's a food sneak peek. It is, exactly. So this way you kind of get all the textures happening. And then I'm gonna put this in here, and then we're gonna pretend that we were also in the middle of eating some. Mm. So let's see, I think this one was your favorite. So we'll put that here. And then this one's that one's a little wonky. A little splash of color. Why don't like you try funky? ripping let's that one in half? Yeah. Try the food. Do bowl. it like is this. The, a term? Nice, that was people. great. So I think this is, looks good, so I think let's give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna go, instead of crouching awkwardly, <laughs> I'm going to actually go overhead. Yeah, and you'll be that person standing on a chair in a restaurant. So I'm always that doing. person, because I'm like five foot four. <laughs> so, do you ever face tune them, or you like just like, you I trust the game? I don't face tune my food. Face tune this, but definitely not my food. Okay, so, boom. Cute. Hold on, keep taking photos. Oh, I'll do this. When you add a hand to the shot, it also gives it this like sense of human beings are here, you know, so it doesn't Ooh, feel as much hand? like a still life. Okay, let me see. What do you think? That's really cute. Ooh. I like it with the hand. I can't wait to share this with you guys. It will be on Darby <laughs> Smart. Maybe you'll share it on your yeah. Insta too. Uh, you'd like a tiny peek here. Cute. Okay, so Instagram photo, color, texture, composition, mm -hmm. and this, and like, What'd you call this, messy perfect? Yeah, like messy beautiful. Or perfectly imperfect.